Hey y'all. Hey YouTube. Uber Eats, Grubhub, and all ride sharing economy independent drivers. All right, let me tell you a situation that just happened. Now, I had the Grubhub to, from 6 to 9 o'clock. You know how much I dread trying to go downtown in the heart of downtown. Now, excuse me if it's dark, but anyway, I just had to make this video real quick. Girl, Drive Girl Drive made a video about curbside um, delivery service. Whether you're required to go to the door or whether you're required to go to the door to provide first um, curb service or simply they come down and get the order themselves. Now, I was um, delivering for Grubhub the very last delivery for the day. It, I was doing real good. I was in Buckhead, you know, no issues. You know, I was able to go um, have parking and apartment complexes, private residence home, and just go up there, deliver the food, no issue. I go to this last place. The delivery, the restaurant was not even a mile. So the destruction she gives was the apartments is facing 14th Street. Okay, fine. It's facing 14th Street in Piedmont, in between Peace Street. And so I drive up. I pulled into the um, apartment building. Now, this is not just some any ordinary apartment building. This is supposed to be some exclusive concierge, can't get in the building type of um, building. So I called her. And I said, ma'am, first of all, she didn't even, they didn't even have an access code. They don't have a way where you just buzz into an apartment complex, you know, pound and put the number and they buzz you in. They have concierge service downstairs. So I called her and there was all these signs, no parking. There was no parking over there. The garage is a private parking so that means you just can't park into the garage. You have to get in through security measures. So I called her and told her, can she meet me downstairs or just get the food from the concierge or whatever. So I'm a, So she tells me, I mean my pajamas, I can't get downstairs. I want you to deliver it up. First of all, you didn't even give me the apartment number you lived in. Number two, they were, I'm standing outside and there was another delivery person that was waiting outside to get in as well. So we standing outside the door, can't get in the building. Then he finally gets, you know, someone finally gets out and we get in. So I called driver support at Grubhub. While I was calling Grubhub driver support, they was calling me back, wanting to know why I wasn't able to deliver the food and what happened. So I told them what happened. I told them that I was downstairs. They were not allowed, I was not allowed to park in front of the building. It was of all the fire zones. And this is a Friday night. So you know that they were already aiming for people to get tickets. So I told her, I'm not, I'm not, I said number one, the rule in Georgia is that you are not allowed to park in the fire zones. Number two, I'm across the street from the W in this very exclusive place where they have private security and police officers that are standing there, you know, that's literally standing there or be right there just waiting to give a ticket. Waiting to give you a ticket. No qualms, no but about it, no nothing. I already just came from somebody who was who was obviously either a Lyft driver or Uber driver and they were um, getting a ticket. First of all, they were parked on the street. They were parked right there in the street, headlight, I mean, emergency lights on, nobody in the car, and whatever they were doing, obviously they were either picking up food because, and they were getting a ticket. And it was just a matter of time before 
the tow truck came and towed that truck away, that car away rather. So while I was talking to her, I said, number one, I've del I told them I deliver at hundreds of places and locations that has security and security gates that allow you to get in a building and you can deliver the food. But if someone tells you, you cannot park in front of a building, in a, especially in a fire zone, and there's no way that you could deliver the food. And then, and then number two, you're in a, in, a, in, a, in a concierge building that's secured, that you're just not allowed just to go upstairs and just, you know, knock on the door and get food. You gotta go through gatekeepers. So, they said, well, we understand, we appreciate you delivering it, blah, 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 this and that, whatever. So, I gave the food to the concierge. And then they looked it up. And then they said they'll go up there and deliver it to her. You know, that's why they have a concierge. They have concierge there, so they could go ahead and deliver packages, deliver food, deliver whatever it is to the person who lives in the building. That's why you pay seven, ten thousand dollars a month to live there. Not just to have somebody, number one, just walk into the building and they're just walking in there delivering food and that's it. They don't go like that. And number two, I'm not getting a ticket over some dang nachos and some dang guacamole dip or whatever the hell she got. You know, I mean, people are so damn, um, um, they think they enti entitled. They think they entitled to think because you have a, a delivery for a food of service, give you a little three dollar tip. They think I'm supposed to be, go leap over bounds to deliver some food to your to your building that you didn't even leave any kind of um, instruction other than please park in the front of the building and um, that's it. And I'm being, you know, and I'm, and, and one, I'm not going to get no ticket. I'm not going to sit here and follow your rule. The rule is, is that if you're, there's no parking, you're in a park in a fire zone. And then it is a Friday night lit up cops all over the place. I'm not giving no ticket because Grubhub is not going to pay for the ticket. Uber's not going to pay for the ticket, even though they said they'll pay for regulatory tickets. But your contract states you are to abide to all rules. All rules are to be abided by. Now I park somewhere. Then I'm in no parking towing zone, but I'm in the car, the car running. So, you know what? It's always that one person that always feels that they want you to you know, next to serving their, you know, putting a napkin on their, on their, on their, in, in their lap. They think you're supposed to be a servant. No, I'm providing a service. This is a service. I'm providing a service. I'm not a servant. Let's get that straight. You know. Out of all these deliveries that I've been doing, you know. Now, earlier today I did Uber Eats. Every single person... When I show pulled up, they were right there at the curve. You know, I say, "Hi, oh, you go. Thank you." You know, courteous. They stood there at the cur they stood there waiting for the food at the curve. I didn't have to deal with no kind of problems, no kind of issues. But I always get these little snotty ass entitled people who think that because you live in the Mayf Mayf Mayfair with some private securities and a concierge Hell, I'm not going upstairs to deliver no food. First of all, you didn't even let me... In. First of all, there is no code to get in. You didn't get... It wasn't like there was a gate code, because there's no gate code. You just can't come in the building. That thing is locked down, secured. You know, I just can't stand it. I just can't stand it. Ever since... You know what? That's why I can't drive uber and drive people these people around no more because number one they're cheap as hell but yet they pay ten thousand dollars a month in rent and and live in these men and live in these million dollar mansions and these are mostly 
these 20, 30 year olds, I don't know, they got this entitlement thing thinking that everything's supposed to be instant service to them. Let me tell you something. I'm not told, my car is not going to be told. I'm not getting a ticket for nobody over those stupid ass nachos. No, it's not going to happen. Not in, not in my lifetime. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. So, you know what happened? She told me, I would just cancel the order. Do whatever you have to do. You know, do whatever you have to do. But I'm not going to break no rule over no $3. I can assure you that. That ain't going to happen. I'm not breaking no rule. I'm not getting no ticket. And surely I am not going to sit up in here and, and play this. Okay, let me go ahead, park in front of the fire zone. And go all the way upstairs to your um, high-rise building. And come all the way downstairs and hope that I don't get booted and get a ticket. You think they give a damn if that happened to you? Nope. They'll sit there and slam that door and eat their little cheese nachos and call it a day. Meanwhile, you the one got to pay a $150 boot or a $200 something dollar ticket or more or worse. That ticket is called, if you park in a fire zone, that ticket is, hot, is way more expensive. Park in front of a fire zone and see what happens and see if you think you're gonna I'm not I'm not doing it I'm not going head over heels over no damn nachos and chips to buy I mean my pajamas so how the hell are you gonna do you gonna come to the door with your pajamas on and I'm supposed to be knocking Nina here you go no I'm not I am not breaking no rule no I'm not because let me tell you about these dumbass nigga cops in Atlanta Especially if you, especially if you in a white area, they could give a damn. They gonna do shit to them. But not a black person or Mexican or person of color be in areas that they feel you're not entitled to get. They'll give you the hard time. You know, so I'm not gonna sit and put myself out there like that. No, I'm not. I'm not gonna do it. I refuse to do it. So that's my issue. That's my story. You know. I would go out my way, provide a good service, but hell of a hell if I'm going to sit up in here and and park when there's clearly no parking right there in the heart of Atlanta, when any and especially in that type of community. If it's a gated community and it's so exclusive like that, I could assure you, I could assure you that in a matter of a minute, you will come out, your car is gone, and it is towed away. And those people ain't gonna give a damn about you. So please comment on this video. I know a lot of y'all don't like negativity. I say, yeah, well, maybe negative. But you know what? Sometimes you have to get stuff off your chest. I'm not gonna be no damn he he he. I'm not a Cheshire cat. I ain't gonna be sit up in here and be like and mince my words. Well, I'm gonna tell it how it is. And if y'all don't like it you don't like my video then you could not look you don't have to look at it point blank because I know there's some of y'all there's some of them trolls on YouTube that like to come on there and be funny about stuff then I gotta curse you out and I had cursed a couple people out you know don't get on my video talking and tell me how I need to act I'm gonna act the way I'm gonna act simple point blank so I guess I'll talk to y'all later I may either, um, now I'm going to switch and do Uber Eats, but I'm going back to my area, back to North Drew Hills, Emory, and let's leave the little high-class, um, fake-ass, um, fake bougie-ass people in, in this buckhead area alone. But they about to get on my damn nerves. So, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.